The driver entered the freeway here at Keelaw Park Road and drove in the wrong direction for 26 kilometres before being pulled over by police at Gap Road. Supported by his wife, Stephen Milne walked head down into county court for the sentence of his indecent assault charge. Milne's wife broke down in tears as Judge Michael Burke announced that her husband would be spared a criminal conviction. The self-contained units in Newtown will provide supported accommodation to young mums. Small Steps Program Coordinator Caroline Wirth says that the problem of young homeless mothers is not often discussed. Daniel Andrews was shooting for goals today as Labor pledged a $5 million upgrade to the Bendigo Stadium. This will be delivered and we'll waste no time doing it. Charges weren't laid at the time, but in 2010 when Mick Malthouse brought up the allegations again, the victim chose to come forward. The incident occurred in a darkened room where both footballers, the victim and her friend, were on a bed. Milne assaulted the victim after she had previously said no to sex. The victim believed she had been sleeping with Milne's teammate, Lee Montagna. Inglewood farmers Lee and Adam Parry have faced yet another dry winter after having only just recovered from the previous year. But according to the Bureau of Meteorology, spring is set to bring drier conditions to southeastern Australia. The program provides around the clock support, on site education to improve self confidence and employability. Rose Horton, Southern Cross News. Today was Labor's chance, now it's up to the government to see if they commit to the redevelopment of Bendigo Stadium. Rose Horton, Win News. Judge Burke thought that both the victim and Milne were worthy young people and he hoped they'd now be able to get on with their lives. Rose Horton, 7 News.